What's up, guys? It is Friday, September 6th. It's 1.34 p.m., and this is a critical crypto market update because right now, Bitcoin is on the brink. Let's just say that. It is literally right on a key support that if we break, it could lead to a substantial dump. So I need to get this video out to you guys ASAP because some key things are happening on the chart right now for Bitcoin and the altcoins. So on the weekly chart, we have the 50 MA here and we're literally right at it. And if you look to the left as well too, we have this kind of sell off that we had back July 1st on the like 4th of July capitulation. We're right at that right now. And we have that 50 MA on the weekly chart, on the weekly. And if we throw on the EMA ribbon, we have the EMA ribbon right there as potential support as well too. And then our last line in the sand, 52,000 for the 786. So I'm gonna mark that off. But really we are like on a knife's edge right now. If I put a little rectangle right here, like we have to hold this right here right now as we speak. Because if we don't, then the odds of a potential capitulation moment for Bitcoin and the rest of the market are extremely high. And where would we go to? Likely around 44K, 44 to like 46K, in my opinion, we would fall to. Because we have that 786 here from the low that we had set in January to the high that we had set in March. Plus, we have this descending trend line support like this for this broadening wedge. And that would take us right down into this area. We could see, you know, big move down like that. It could wick. We could have the body close and then we could start to recover. But the odds are very much increasing for a dump right now because every single pop just kept, keeps keeps getting rejected here. And looking at the momentum on the weekly chart, we can see that, you know, this TSI is not slowing down not slowing down whatsoever. We are pressing down fast and it doesn't look like we're close to having a substantial bounce at this moment. A bounce will likely come from us having a capitulation moment and a big pop up like that. So I wanted to get this out to you guys ASAP so you guys know what's in store and it could happen today. It could happen over the weekend, but it's looking like it's very close right now. Looking at the drivers, macro drivers, on the right side, we have the US NAS 100 on the daily chart. We're getting a one day prepare to buy soon, just like we had gotten on the capitulation moment back Monday, August 5th. And then we had one right here as well too. We're not out of the, the woods until we see a buy now on the one day. And we're coming down fast to that one day 200 moving average. So I'm, it's looking like we're gonna see increased momentum to the downside till we touch that level, maybe maybe even come back down to touch the 786 here, plus the 4236 breakdown extension. Looking at the pump dump chart on the left side of the screen, we are very close to the 786 here, so we need to see immediate rejection if we go to here. If not, we'll likely see a spike right to that previous high that we had put over there, maybe even higher. So if we go to a three-day chart and we look at where's the 786 for the bigger picture trend here, it's all the way up here. So a big capitulation moment down for Bitcoin and the whole market, we could see a spike up to that 786 because also as well too, you break a 786 here, you can target the 2618. The 2618 is right up there with that 786 as well. So this is very critical at the moment because we're staring at you know, a moment where we could see a massive move. And looking at the others market cap chart, if we go to the weekly chart, we have a couple weekly prepare to buy soon. There's no buy now yet, so we're not out of the woods. We do have the one week 200 moving average right there as well too, coinciding with the 786. But if we see continued momentum lower, if we go to the two week chart, we do have the 2618 right down here with the two week 200 moving average. And that would be the ultimate capitulatory blood in the streets type of moment if we come down to here for 100 billion for the other's market cap where we've seen back in the FTX capitulation coming to that two week 200 moving average, the capitulation in June right down to there. So if we see a breach of this two week 50 MA, and we're seeing Bitcoin 
really start to tank down here, then it's very possible that we could see that happen on a quick, quick capitulation down and a sharp V-shaped recovery back up. So I want to put that on the radar for you guys. Looking at something like, and I'll just cover XRP because I want to get this out to you guys ASAP. Like I was saying with XRP before on the one day chart. All right. Okay. So see, this is what we we're waiting on. We have never seen, a, you know, another with the sell now. I was saying, you know, it's looking like in the last video that, you know, we could see another substantial move down because with XRP, usually you see a prepare to buy soon and a buy now before seeing another sell now. So, it, was, it wasn't likely that we had saw XRP just start to go, flash another sell warning and sell now. It was more likely to see another prepare to buy soon and buy now before the next sell now. So as you can see here, one day chart XRP, Stargate signals just totally crush it on this, uh, on XRP. We do have a one day prepare to buy soon right now, meaning we're selling off as we speak. We're not out of the woods until we flash a one day buy now signal. So that is now activated, but we're not going to see that fire off until we see the momentum start to turn back around. Right now, the momentum is to the downside, but very positive to see that we have that one day prepared to buy soon. That means that, all right, we're, we're close to seeing a potential turnaround here and for us to go to a potential next higher high, but not until we see that one day buy now. But yeah, so that's going to be it. I want to get this video out to you guys ASAP because of how close we are to, to really seeing a capitulation moment. Um, but if we don't, we would want to see a nice big bounce from this area right here. A fast recovery is what you want to see. And you'll know if it's time. And as you can see here, we have a one day prepared to buy soon on Bitcoin as well too. That same signal had flashed back here August 4th, August 5th during the final phases of that capitulation phase. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen either today or over this weekend. So buckle up. It's going to be a, a rocky ride here if we can't see an immediate push to the upside. So I'll get this video out to you guys. If anything changes, I'll let you guys know in the Discord. Link is in the bio for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.